Let me just admire this for a moment. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. How much is this? I have not been to the antique mall for quite some time. This is the Charleston Antique Mall. And I usually find some really great stuff in here. And I do believe this mall does shipping. So if you see something in this video that tickles your fancy and I didn't buy it, you are welcome to call the Charleston Antique Mall. I'll put their info down in the description and uh, just, just deal directly with them. I'm sure that would make them very happy. You can tell them the niche lady sent you. They love when I film here, so it's all good. So I am on a quest to find higher end flips. And by that, I mean, you know, the thrift store, I find stuff for, you know, one, two, five, ten dollars and flip it for 20, 30, 40, 50. When I come to the antique mall, I am looking for things that I can buy for 10, 20, 30 and flip for 50, 75, 100. So I'm looking for like bigger margin items in there. So that's the quest for today. Let's go in and let's see what we can find. Okay, we are in the door. Ooh, this is pretty. This says art pottery. I don't know. Looks like a kiwi, doesn't it? Like the bird. It's got, oh, it's just have a, there is a mark there. I can't read it. And they just say art pottery vase, $19. It's kind of nice. I kind of like that. It's another neat piece of... This is actually... It's glass and stone. It's like stone on the outside and glass on the inside. French glass, time stone above. That's really cool, too. That's neat. All right. Oh, look at that little clock. Yeah. And it's working. That's a good price for that. I like it. All right, we're right inside the door. Let's uh, keep going, see what we can find. Oh, look at the little, little sombrero guys for $15 for a little siesta. Siesta pair. And there's their cactus right next to it. Oh, these are pretty. Let's see what they $39 mid-century Anderson candlesticks. Those are really beautiful. Really like those. Not familiar with Anderson, so I may actually look those up. Alright, so let's go to... Oh! sold something. Um, let's go to search. We're going to go Anderson Pottery. I'm not putting in candlesticks yet because I first want to see what Anderson Pottery sells for. We're going to filter down here to the sold. I got 97. Oops, I forgot. I want to sort the highest. Alright, so there's some different Andersons. So now I'm looking for the same style of the glaze to kind of find what could be the right artist here. Oh, some cute stuff. Maybe this one? I don't know. Let's see. Down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, look. Let's see if that signature matches up. So that'll be the next thing I do. Let's pull that open, look, and see if it's the same signature. Hmm. You can blow these up and look, but it's not. Okay, so this is a different, different, different. Oh, but this one. Look at. A.D. Anderson. There we go. 
So there's a vase. So it's A.D. Anderson. $64 for that vase. So I'm looking at $39 purchase and figuring I can get 50 to 60. That's just not going to be quite enough of a margin for me, but I mean, there was $39.95 on that one, but that one I think they sold too cheap. But okay, these are priced really well. And if you love them, that's a great price. I got up, I spotted these marquetry pictures here with signed by Nelson and these sell for about $35 to $40 each and they are selling the set of three for $45 so that's the kind of buy I'm looking for and I'm gonna pick those up all right I have started my pile up at the front desk so this is desert sands um, this is a really popular pottery, especially here in the Southwest. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, that's a really good price on it, but, but not a price that I can pick it up at. Look at this fun phone. Hello, hello. Love that so much. Oh, look at the little owl family. It is a set of four Tanala owls for $42. This one does have a chip. But the other ones do not. And look how big that one is. So I think we're going to pick up this nice little family of owls from Mexico because that one alone is amazing and these guys are just bonuses oh he's pretty fabulous 75 that's a good price again I really don't deal in the Pyrex guys but if you see something you let them know this looks like Texas wear it absolutely is Texas wear I don't know if you can see the mark. It's very hard to see with a model, but they're Texas wear. No, that's a little one. It's really cool stuff though. Ooh, hello piggy. You look like a heron pig. Let's see if you are. You are. It says Her Heron Style Pig. So he's just, he's got hand painted under here. I don't know what that green mark would have been. Hmm. It's $38. Very, very classic Heron pattern on that little piggy. This Blanco vase, that's pretty awesome. $58, it seems like a really good price too. Love it. Rachel has told me I have to be on the hunt for Briar's horses, but this guy's 25. I mean, he's worth every penny of that. But if I start spending $25 a piece on horses for her, I'm gonna go broke really quick so nobody tell her that I'm passing this horse by. Look at this guy. Ooh, he's pretty stunning. He's a, he's a ceramic. Whoop. Just says folk art hand painted for $58. He's, he's pretty spectacular. I like him. Oh, look at some old, an old coffee bag. Ben Hur Products, number 800 brand coffee. The fact that this survived 
and didn't get thrown away is what makes it so highly collectible. I'm looking for a date. I don't see a date. Anyone know when Ben Hur coffee, number 800 brand coffee was, was a thing? That's pretty awesome. Look at that tin. That's gorgeous. That one would fit. Oh, look at the little girl in the back. Oh, this one would work really good in Jordan's kitchen decor. Oh, it is a day her, if I'm saying that right. The price is very good on this. $7.95. I think I'm going to pick that one up. I'm probably going to pick it up and give it to Jordan, though. Lots of cute, kitschy stuff in this booth. Lots and lots of it. I can already tell this is going to be a good shopping trip with the stuff that I've found so far. That's what happens when you haven't been to a place in a while. Everything looks new and fresh and exciting. I love it. I'm going to check out this little swan here, a little glass swan. It's $9.95. Mm. That base is a little on the cloudy side for it to be Murano. They're calling it mid-century. He is pretty nice though. Just, you know, for being a nice vintage swan. I don't think we're going to pick up Mr. Swan. I'm looking around, making sure he's got no damage, but yeah, for $9.95, I think he's coming home with us. Oh my gosh, look at that purple lamp. Woo, that is gorgeous. How much is it? It's only $59.95? And it's 30% off? What? Or maybe it's firm for the 30% off sale, but that's a great price for that lamp. We just admire this for a moment oh my goodness oh my goodness that's gorgeous how much is this oh it's $65 oh do I need that I might need that I don't see a signature anywhere I don't see a signature. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, I'm gonna wrestle with that one. I think that's gonna probably end up going home with us. <laughs> Look at this awesome plant holder. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's $48. That is really neat, but I don't need it. I just love it. Okay, well there's something you don't see every day. Looks like it was a store display for Alien Pops. Nice. Oh, there's another nice tin. Why am I like kind of picking up on the tins today? This one's Coca-Cola. Um, this is going to be a Repop. It is made in Hong Kong. It's 1988, so it's an older Repop. But no price. Hmm. Don't need it. That just means I don't need it. It means we can put it back. I don't think I've ever seen the picture that goes with these. They're, they're a rubbery plastic. They feel really weird. <laughs> wow, is it only $25 for the set? That's a really good price. See what I'm going for? <laughs> of course I'm going for the bird. He's 15. He's a Puerto Rico. Okay, I don't need him. Step away from the bird, Danny. Step away from the bird. Maybe the hippo, though. Maybe the hippo. <laughs> Ooh, he's heavy. 
He's a heavy hippo. Hippo with white yarn. Okay, we don't need the hippo either. Oh, this little guy. I'm dangerous in this shop. I'm just dangerous. I'm not sure I've ever seen giraffe pattern. Like they're saying t model tortoise pattern. I see giraffe. Do you guys see giraffe? I see giraffe. Maybe I'm just in giraffe mode, but I don't know. Giraffe or not giraffe, tell me in the comments. All right, this is the booth that's always very tight to come in here and look at things. But we are gonna do our best and squish through here. There's just so much stuff. So much stuff. Oh, he's from the Jeffersons, right? Or the Jetsons, the, the Jeffersons, the Jetsons. Forget what his name is. What is his name? I forget. I love that. I love that cartoon though. That was one of my favorites. I always wanted a Rosie. I still want a Rosie to clean my house, answer the door, do all that stuff. Oh, we got some desert rose. This is my favorite, favorite Franciscan pattern. Love Desert Rose. Brings back mm, lots of good memories with my summers up at my aunt's house. And we actually mm. set the table and ate off of Desert Rose dishes. This is the booth that I got that really nice piece of restaurant wear Flow Blue, which I did sell. Um, so I'm just over here seeing if there's any more. These are not restaurant wear. These are just... Um, regular china pieces. Restaurant wear is thicker, heavier. It's made for hard use. That's how you can tell the difference in it. some really nice pieces of Pyrex here. But again, I don't do the Pyrex thing. This is Butterprint Aqua. How much is that one? 42. Just a plain yellow, plain aqua. This is Federal, well this is Federal Glass, I guess. Atomic Star for 75. Oh, I see a piece of blue opalescent. I haven't even unpacked my collection. This is Jefferson, calling it Lined Heart for 45. I haven't even unpacked my collection yet. I haven't decided that I'm calling this place home yet. That's my indicator. If I know I'm gonna stay a while, I unpack my glass. Otherwise it stays safely packed away and anticipates the next move, <laughs> which I hope isn't gonna happen, but I think we're almost at the point of figuring that out. Oh, it's a cute, cute little mushroom. What? Early 1900s, never opened? Never opened. What? Folgers, 20 pounds of Folgers. Steel cut coffee vacuum packed. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> That's pretty cute. 
I don't think this holds true anymore. Sorry. Times have changed. We have social media now. <laughs> oh, sad to say. Well, these guys are kind of interesting. They've got spaghetti trim. Those are... I don't know how I feel about those. I don't, I don't know how I feel about those. Look at this really cute owl clock. How sweet is that? It is $32. Ooh, another neat lamp. That one has like a blown glass flower thing going on in it. It is $235. And I've got my camera so far away, I don't even know if you heard me say that. It's $235. Just in case you didn't. Oh, look what I found. I found a little mushroom thing. Oh, it's a box. I did not, I thought it was a wall hanging. It is, it's an owl on one side and it's mushrooms on the other. And it is matches. 1970. You know what? It's 10 bucks. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if she could do something with that. You know what? It doesn't hang on the wall. I was told specifically to look for things that hang on the wall, so I'm going to leave it. But she's going to watch this and say, why didn't you get that for me, Mom? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find more. We'll find more mushrooms. Oh, look at this little squirrel family. Hello, little squirrels. They're $18. Little, little, oh, he's got little little fuzz on his tail. Very cute. Look how stinking cute these are. Oh my goodness. Loretta Granger. How much? Rustic primitives for 32. I don't know if that's 32. I see if it's 32 each or 32 for the set. Does each one have a tag? I think it's for the set. If it's for the set, I think I have to do this. Because that would make them about 10 bucks each. I could totally do 10 bucks each on these. They have little leather hangers. Oh, these are so cute. Yeah, that must be for all three. So, yep, set of three. We're going to pick those up for, what did I say? $32 for the set of three. I love them. Okay, those are interesting. I don't like them. <laughs> I do like this, though. Old handmade cabinet with porcelain pulls. We open it up. Signs of age, very good. Oh, that's some very old construction there. And if you feel the inside of the drawer, it's wavy. That means it was hand sanded, not machine sanded. When you feel that, one of the signs to look for true age versus a reproduction. That's a really nice little piece. How much did they want? 139. I think that's a good price for that. I don't need it though. I don't need it. Okay, that's part one. You're gonna have to come back and see what else I found in this amazing shopping trip. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Uh, this was probably the best antique mall shopping trip that I have had in a very long time. I won't say ever, but I'll say in a very long time. So with that, be sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so you know when the next one goes up and come back for part two. Now go be profitable and make it fun.